Hey my friend, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Happy Foods, and it's Sunday prep day. Did all my grocery haul shopping, you check that out on Friday. And uh, basically, uh, I take the weekend to get some stuff done ahead of time so that my rest of my week is set up really nicely. So, um, basically this week, I'm going to show you what I'm up to right now, is I've got, I don't know if you remember, I bought these, um, two grocery hauls will go, I bought these frozen uh, broccoli. I thought I tried, it was on sale, and it was like nothing but stocks. I mean, I'm saving these florets for another use, but I'm going to make, um, I've got all these stocks here, and um, I made some potatoes for the girls uh, the other night, and I've got some leftover mashed potatoes, so I'm going to make that um, broccoli potato soup. It's sim super easy. You can check out, I did a video on it for leftover uh, potato broccoli soup, I think I called it. And um, so I'm just gonna throw this in the blender. I got my stalks of broccoli, my mashed potatoes, my Vitamix, some boiling water, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna make this soup up and um, I'll whiz it up and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to, to prepare this for the week, okay? Because I like to, to kind of portion them up and stuff like that. So hang tight and I'll show you in a second. Guys, look how much broccoli potato soup I've got. It makes a ton. And I actually um, added a little bit of uh, nutritional yeast. Had some in the, the pantry. You can get this in the bulk section of like Whole Foods or something like that. And it adds kind of like a cheesy flavor. So I just put salt, pepper, and some nutritional yeast. And so now I have a like a cheesy broccoli potato soup. Really good. And um, I pick up these bags from the dollar store. Um, I like them because um, they're... Uh, they go this way and they hold one cup and I just go ahead and I label them broccoli potato soup and I just put them month in the year. Um, not that it's going to sit in there that long, but um, basically I like doing this. I'll, I'm going to show you. We're going to, um, Jen's going to help me. We're going to fill these up and these are perfect for lunches. So basically I'll keep these in the freezer and uh, usually um, we'll use up any kind of leftovers for lunch, but let's say there's not that much leftover, I'll pull out one of these. Or let's say, um, you know, uh, we ate all the dinner and there isn't anything leftover, I need something for, for lunch the next day, um, I can pull out two of these. I can pull out as many as I want, and um, it's just really easy, don't have to think about um, what to bring or what to pack, and it just comes in really, really handy. So, um, so we're going to fill these up. All right. Jen's going to hold this for me. I sometimes, if I'm doing it myself, I'll, um, put it in a cup. But if you get somebody to help you, they can just hold it. You want to say hi, babe? Hi. <laughs> Trying to get things, um, used up within the house and, uh, getting a lot of stuff done today that, uh, make things easy on Anna watching the kids. So. So show them what, you, what you're doing. Just oh, fill it up. It's kind of got a bad glare, huh? Helps. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So, And that'll just sit right in the freezer. They stack up really nicely, easy. And uh, so that's that. And uh, we're just going to keep on filling that up. And um, I've got some other things working. I've got um, some rice I went ahead and cooked up ahead of time. And I'm going to bag that up. And uh, let me turn this light off. I feel like there's a glare in the kitchen. There you That's go. better. Yeah. So I um, cooked up some rice and I'm going to bag that up and I'll show you for the freezer. I also, um, in my pressure cooker, I love my pressure cooker, got some uh, quinoa I cooked up. All this freezes really well. You just bag it up, stick it in the freezer, label it, and it's ready to go. It just saves a lot of time. So I'm doing this. Um, for uh, when Anna comes with the kids, that way she can just pick a starch, pick a vegetable, pick whatever, and uh, dinner's ready to go. Very, very easy. So um, I'll show you that in a second once I get that wrapped up. But here's where I'm at. I'm going to finish up with these soup and get in that prepped up, and the rice and the quinoa, and then uh, I'll show you some of the other stuff too. So hang tight. All right, guys, here's what I got prepped for this week. Um, you so saw I made that uh, potato broccoli soup. I got it all labeled up in little bags, and this is going to go in the freezer. Um, making soups, freezing things is, is an excellent way to use up leftovers or use up something that you just don't think you're going to be able to finish in time. 
Don't let it go to waste. Just repurpose it and put it in the freezer and then it will come in handy, I promise. Um, got the cheese. I bought that uh, two pound block of cheese. So I cut it in four chunks. So that's eight ounce uh, block of cheese. We used one last night for the enchilada casserole, which uh, check out that video. It came out delicious and it made so much food. It really was tasty and a simple recipe. I've got some cabbage that I had left from, um, not this grocery haul, but the following grocery haul. I went ahead and shredded that up. And I think I'm going to use some tonight. I'm going to make a stir fry. I think my parents coming over, my grandpa. And I'll have some for salads and maybe some coleslaw or something this week. Um, so I just, if you prep it up and you have it all ready to go, you'll use it. If it's just sitting there, you're like, ah, you know. But if it's handy, then you'll throw a little bit in, like I said, on your salad or just in your veggie stir fry or something like that. Um, the kale, got that washed. Again, put this in with towel, paper towels. It'll suck up any moisture and keep your greens nice and fresh. I've got the rice I cooked up. I've got a rice for the freezer for, um, for Anna, so, and a quinoa. I just got that labeled. And I'm gonna, these freeze very easily. And so how easy is that when you got a busy work week? Just portion it out in the amount that you'll need for your family just to frost it and just heat it up so it's a no-brainer I got a little extra for tonight for us and then I got a little extra in this container I might use I might make like a soup or something like that this week so I've got some I'll put in the refrigerator um, back here I've got um, my date oat bars I just finished making a video on that so probably post that maybe tomorrow uh, you want to check out how to make these guys they're awesome I gotta make another batch and um, I'll just keep on layering it with parchment and stick them in my freezer and they're great on, on the go. So I love that for just a quick, easy snack. And I even eat them as dessert. So you've seen me eat that in my What I Eat in a Day video too. But um, yeah, and I've got some fruit. I had a cantaloupe and a pineapple um, left from last week and I went ahead and cut that up. And uh, that's sitting in the fridge. And um, I still got some veggies I'm using up. I got bought a celery this week. I'll, I'll cut that up probably tomorrow. But just want to show you a few things. Each week, if I figure if I just show you a couple of thing, new things here and there, um, it'll just kind of get you thinking of what you can maybe make ahead of time just to save yourself some time. And, um, and also make sure you use up uh, anything in your house and keep things rotating because that's, that's a real secret to keeping your food costs down. So... Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. And remember to always eat happy foods. Ciao.